IG International, one of India's leading fresh fruit importers, has signed an agreement with Bando Fruits and Nurseries, a 142-year-old Israeli firm, to cultivate plantations of stone fruit and palm fruits in India. IG International said in a statement that this agreement is basically getting a license to grow the fruits that will help in growing 1 million superior plants exclusively in India. Hello, I am Shikha Yadav. You're watching Agri Business News. Let's start with the latest update. Krishi Jagran team has participated in the 5 days Kisan Agri Show 2022 that will be going on till 27 March at Pune, Maharashtra. The objective of the show is to create a single platform for the Indian agri community. It is the only fair of its kind where agri professionals, policy makers, like-minded individuals, government officials and media from all parts of India come together to have a dialogue with the who's and who of the Indian agriculture sector. This Kisan exhibition, we hope that farmers will get the uh, experience of new technology and farmers will gain from a new technology wherein cost saving and labor saving will be there. And we hope that uh, every companies and every farmers will get this uh, latest technology, which uh, is now a latest invention and this technology has been patented. And we urge to use farmers such a new technology. We have invented a filter, which is a combination of sand filter, screen filter, hydrocyclone filter. And this filter is not required for this. And we can go in for a organic fertigation for this. We can call it as a combo filter, wherein five operations is combined with the one in one filter. And this is self healing technology. It doesn't require uh, manual intervention. Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FIKI, has announced the appointment of Divya Gokulnath, co-founder of Baijus, as the chair of FIKI at Tech Task Force. As a result of the appointment, Divya and the task force will work towards building directional and actionable policies to give further impetus to the EdTech ecosystem. Godrej Agrovet, one of India's largest diversified R&D-focused agribusiness, has launched insecticide Gracia in the north zone at Mohali, Punjab. Gracia is patented chemistry discovered and developed by Japan's Nissan Chemical Corporation, introduced in India through collaboration with Godrej Agrovet. Dr. S. Ayappan, the formal Director General of the ICAR, is being conferred with the prestigious Padma Shri Award 2022 for his contribution to science and engineering, notably in the field of farming and agriculture in the country. The 111th four-day All India Kisan Fair and Agro-Industrial Exhibition commenced today at 11 a.m. at Govind Ballak Patel University of Agriculture and Technology, Pantnagar. Krishi Jagran team is also present at the fair to meet with numerous farmers and agricultural companies. In the fair, small machines and equipment of farm mechanization suitable to hilly areas are showcased by the university and many other farms. Bakao Foods, a jackfruit-based vegan food brand, is planning to expand aggressively across the Indian geography through Horeca distributors. According to Sairaj Dhon, founder and CEO of Bakao Foods, the company is building its expert lineup to the European market and is on the verge of finalizing talks with 20 more countries. The startup also featured on Shark Tank India, where it bagged funding of Rs. 75 lakhs. Dr. Oscar Ortiz has been named Director General ad Interim of the International Potato Center. Dr. Ortiz has been Deputy Director General for Research and Development since 2014, responsible for the strategic positioning of CIP's three research programs on potato and sweet potato agri-food systems and biodiversity for the future. For more such agri-updates, keep watching Krishi Jagran Business. Thank you.